Across the country, the number of hospitalizations are in the triple digits for the first time in four months. Statewide hospitalizations jumping to more than 10,000 yesterday. In Western New York, a total of 474 patients were in hospitals with COVID in our region. A live look now at the emergency room wait times from Kaleida Health tonight, showing you that just how about you're going to wait more about, about an hour or more to get into the ER. Again, this is for Kaleida Health. And starting today, Governor Kathy Hochul says hospitals across the state will now be required to report the number of patients being treated for COVID symptoms separate from those who test positive. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley checking in with Buffalo area hospitals today to find out how they're faring. But it's a different type of patient that we're dealing with if they're here for other reasons. With COVID rates rising, Governor Kathy Hochul wants more clarity when it comes to patients being hospitalized specifically for COVID. But we don't have clear data right now that's anecdotal. Governor Hochul says she wants to be honest with New Yorkers to see whether or not hospitalizations correlate with high infection rates fueled by the Omicron variant. Is that person in the hospital because of COVID or did they show up there and are routinely tested and showing positive and they may have been asymptomatic or even just had the sniffles. Hospitals statewide must now report on how many patients are hospitalized with COVID symptoms and how many test positive while being treated for other health reasons. It does help to differentiate. I think that understanding the true burden of COVID is important in knowing how sick people are getting. But area hospital leaders tell me they've already been gathering that data. I know that my emergency management team and our infection control team has been keeping documents on this since the first patient. The safety officer at the Erie County Medical Center says she's glad the governor is now asking for this specific breakdown. Charlene Ludlow says there are currently 98 positive COVID patients at ECMC, but only 50% have a primary diagnosis of COVID. The other 50% are here for other things that they would have been coming in for. But because we are looking very carefully to make sure that we have a safe environment for these patients, we are testing them early. Statewide hospitalization numbers are the highest since the pandemic started. But now the added data will give a better idea of who is sick with COVID at hospitals. I think that information and transparency will lead to trust. Kaleida Health's Dr. Michael Minio says it is important to get all the hospital numbers in front of the public to help put the Omicron surge in better perspective. At the current state with Omicron, there are people with positive tests who don't actually have disease. So now we're differentiating who has a positive test, but it's actually doing well versus who's actually hospitalized for COVID. Eileen Buckley, 7 News.